Oh, man. <laughs> he just took a run and just ripped the rod out of my hand. Holy crap, guys. This is, <laughs> this is a freaking monster. All right, guys. Ken and I are out on the Ohio River down in uh, the Pike Island Pole. The water's finally starting to cool down a little bit. We still have zero current. Um, have a feeling these fish are going to be biting, though. So stick around for the action. Ken, do you have any parting words for these guys? They worked their butts off for bait today. Hopefully it pays off. Yep. Stick around, guys. I have a feeling big fish are going to hit the, the deck of the boat. All right, guys. We're running all moon eye tonight. Um, this bait for us seems to be the best warm water bait for these flatheads. Um, the water temps mid to upper 70s and low 80s in the summer here. Moon Eye just seems to outfish everything for us. So when we're able to get it in these warm months of the year, we get it and it usually pays off. Shad's kind of like our spring and fall thing and when the Moon Eye aren't running or we can't catch them, Shad's another good alternative. Um, just a good all around bait. But Shad for us, spring and fall is usually primo. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> that was a sweet takedown. <laughs> oh, there's some drag. Yeah, when we talk about a nice, slow, typical, big flathead takedown, that's that's kind of what uh, what we're looking for. What we're talking about right there. It's almost slow motion. Then what, Ken? The camera's been on seven minutes. Seven minutes. When we did some talking, and look at my counter. 88 back. Yep, 88 back. All right, once you work them up a little closer, Ken, maybe try to get them around that giant 75 foot drift saw. Is he coming? Okay. I did throw that right next to you. That's what I get. <laughs> so, are those the medium heavy Hellcats, Ken? Okay. The action of those Hellcat rods, guys, the medium heavy, is similar to the medium of the Big Cat Fever series. They run a little, a little lighter, which is, could be a good thing. You get it around the seven foot drift sock? Yeah, I think so. It's a pretty good fish, too. I'm just going to cross this one here. We didn't even get the net out, Ken. Oh crap. <laughs> need it, huh? Yeah, I think we need a net. We gonna need it? All right. We might have a real one, guys. This is this is spot numero uno. It's always a good thing when this happens. Yeah, nice fish. I missed that live action, but yeah. the camera got it. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, hold on one second. Start for the night. Oh, heck yeah. This, this place already. Very nice start. Yeah, buddy. All right, yeah. fish number one going back, man. Hopefully they keep biting for us. This might be a good night. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Nice job, Joe. It's like the only one I couldn't really see. You know? It's just <laughs> out of my life, out of my vision. All right, guys, we moved up to spot number two here. Have been here too long. Yeah, just a few minutes, and the moon I had got swallowed here. I'm gonna go get the net, Joe.
still wait for that rod to go. <laughs> Oh, a little bit of line. Well, he's, a little bit. he's strong. He's not big. I get, you know, I can tell he's not too heavy, but he's pulling hard. A little rowdy fish, a little rowdy flatty. Look at him taking down. Another one, guys, right here. Unless the fish is taking that in, Ken. <laughs> Guys, are double going back. You're biting tonight, man. This, this might turn into a, a really good night here. We just need to find some giants. Oh, go there, you guys. <laughs> the old Hellcat bent over. He feel decent. Yeah, he does. Probably going to be our best fish of the night so far. Soaked up the bubble. Nice specimen. Ooh, 
this big hole. Looks like an old stringer hole or something. Yep. All right. All right. All right, guys, we're going to pull them in here and try to find another spot not too far from where we're at. We're going to try to fish some rock cover. We've been fishing up on, on some wood and catching them, but we're just we're going to try something different, go a little deeper and fish some rock. Dude. Come on, buddy. He hasn't turned yet. That's a big fish. Yeah. This is a big fish. Look at him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is the one. This is a nice one. <laughs> He's under that one. Yep. Right, He's still not turned. He's still like pointed up there. Getting this out of the way. That's good. Don't worry about that. No, I don't want him getting he's, it. He's like 200 yards. That's over. all right. That's all right. <laughs> that was an awesome. Yes, ride. it was. I have a feeling we're in for an epic battle here. Yeah, my my drag's pretty tight too. I tighten them all down. Just took a run, I almost ripped the rod out of my hand. Come on, dude. This is a big fish. This is. The drag is like super tight, too. Like I, I gotta let off a little bit. This is gonna be a good one. I'm watching your back just in case another rod goes. That run was amazing. <laughs> Did he get into my number three? Yeah, I think. You might want to clicker and free spool that reel just in case. It don't cause you to lose them. This one here? Yeah. Just in case. He's still on the bottom. Yeah, he's in it. He's on, he's definitely in it. He's got some weight to him. I know he's about to take a little run. We need to land him right here. This is the one I want, the one we want. <laughs> I got him vertical. River. Oh my god, dude. Hold on, let me, let me turn his head back towards you. Yep. We're gonna get one shot at this. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that's a what freaking a tank, tank, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. That's a big boy. <laughs> dude, I can, that run, a run like that, I'm like, this dude has to be freaking huge. Here. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Holy crap, guys! This is <laughs> this is a freaking monster, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Where do you see this fish? Here we go. Holy, Holy shit! You need Dad. help? I got it, but this is he's freaking huge, dude. Wow. Oh my <laughs> god! Dude! Oh! Kneel down. Kneel down. Holy sh crap! <laughs> That is a monster. <laughs> That's the biggest flathead I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yes. All right, we're going to get the uh, hook and get the net cleared here. We'll be right Holy. back. But I got to pull him out of the live one. I have a feeling he's going to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken, go ahead and grab him. I got I to gotta call the wife or something. <laughs> Come on, Joe, you got this. It's, they're a whole different level when they're this big, <laughs> right? <laughs> so big. Can I just pick him up on his tail? Hell no. That's just going to piss him off more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep him in the god dang live well forever. Ken, he's mean. Look at this. He took my mitten off. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, I should have never put him in there with all the air raiders. Bro, I'm seriously scared to pick him up. He just ate my, the side of my life wall. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna sink the boat. <laughs> I got something for him. Oh, you, you wool bath. Hey, this is what's best for the fish. I don't want to stress them. I don't want to get the fish stressed. Come on, you old big old uh, yeah, this, this is This is the proper way to do this, folks. It's not that I'm scared to pick them up or anything like that. Um, if you guys have been following the channel for long enough, you know uh, fish health and and stuff is a top priority so I don't want to pick them up and just manhandle them and stress them out so we're gonna to try to flip them right in the waistline. <laughs> Do you think they bought that Ken? Yeah. Sorry, you lift them out of there I'm gonna shut this. Yeah that's it. Oh we got bigger. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, he's going back. Thank you so much, big fella. Congratulations, Joe. Great fish. Thank you. Thank you for helping me get him in the boat, Anytime. helping me catch the bait to catch him. Anytime, man. What a monster flathead. This is the best part, guys, watching him swim away. Somebody else is going to have a chance to catch this fish when he's over 60. Fish this size where we fish, this is like a unicorn. Like they, you know, they're not built like this. I can tell you that. Um, we've been, we put in thousands of hours and, you know, we don't get too many like this. Look at that fish, man. Congratulations, about Great fish. about ready but I'm gonna give him another another little bit and just kind of enjoy it man look at that sucker it's been all these hours of catching bait and you know, going out here and having tough nights on the river, like this, it makes it all worth it when you get one like this. You 
You ready, big girl? That is awesome. It's gonna do it for this trip. The fog kind of threw us off the river and cut our night a little bit short, but we had like 10 foot visibility. It was getting real sketchy. There's barges moving around and we're kind of half asleep. So we, um, we pulled them in early for the night, but we had a good night, caught a bunch of fish, um, caught a giant fish. I don't know, you got anything to add? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good night, even though it got cut short, I think we could have got some more fish, but uh, safety first, man. Yeah. Safety first. It's not, it's, there ain't no fish out there worth trashing a boat or dying over. So yeah. I don't think we're going to top that one fish tonight anyway. No, so. no. We, we made the right call. We had yeah. a good night. Well, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next week. Look at oh that my God. flathead. That's a giant.